morning everyone it's friday grace is coming over we're having a pool day so right now i'm just cleaning my apartment i cleaned a little bit up um i'm gonna get a shower i'm gonna like chill but let's make a nice coffee this is like my go-to right now pumpkin munchkin honestly it's a little early it's august but i love it You guys need to see the new scents that I got from Bath and Body Works. I showed you the candles last vlog. My mom took me back to get some hand soaps. And then I also had like two free like body care items. So I got this little spray of marshmallow pumpkin latte. If you've never smelled this, it doesn't smell too much. Like it's definitely like a warm scent, but the latte doesn't come through as much as the like marshmallow pumpkin. And it's fire. I literally like, I love spraying this in the fall, just like running errands. And then I also got the body wash because this was also free. It's so good. This is how I get into the fall mood. We got an afternoon apple picking. We got white pumpkin. We got a fresh fall morning. We got mahogany apple, which this is so funny. I always joke that this looks like Allie's apartment. Allie Jimin, sweater weather. Those are the soaps that we got. And I also got a bunch of wallflowers. I'm gonna finish cleaning up. We are going to have our pool day. So I'll show you guys kind of what we're doing for that. And we're having a very chill Friday. Jason's down the shore, so I'm just here alone. It's gonna be a mean Grace day. Grace is almost here. I just got a shower and I like tweezed my eyebrows and everything. I'm getting all ready. And I'm using this milk makeup, like the cooling jelly tint. I love this stuff for like a pool day or a beach day. It literally gives you like the most natural sun-kissed glow. This is the shade Spritz. Look how cute that is. It looks like I've been in the sun for like hours already. I'm obsessed. You don't even need like mascara or anything. Like it's just a cute little touch of color. So I am getting ready for her to pick me up. We're gonna go run some errands. We're gonna go to like Trader Joe's, to get a bottle of wine and stuff for tonight. We're gonna have ourselves a little day. Grace are here. We made a banging dinner. Obviously, my special yeah, penne alla vodka, burrata, Caesar salad, girl dinner. Good morning. We are walking to Starbucks. They have a new location, so we're excited to see what it's like. Oh, it is big. Hello, everyone. I'm looking literally beat. I have a pimple patch on even though this is a bug bite i'm just like seeing if it works to help with like the redness i'm drinking a little coffee i'm going to try on hokas because i literally hurt my foot doing eight miles last weekend and i just have burned my shoes to the ground like there's like a hole in them essentially so they're really beat we're gonna go get some hokas but i have to try on the different types because i feel like i would like either the bondi eights or the clifton nine so i need to go try on which one is gonna be the fit for me. I'm gonna take off my little pimple patch and go <laughs> real quick. Um, and I'll show you guys which ones to try on, which ones I'm liking, and what ones I end up getting. Let's go. The errands OOTD. Okay, we picked out a pair of the Clifton Nines at Dick's, but they didn't have the colorway I wanted. So the colorway is online. I'm gonna just look it up when I get home and order them. You guys, I'm on the hunt to find a really nice, like, it's like a darkish picture landscape theme for my bathroom because where I have the a uh, beach one. I really want to put like a fall colored one there when I have all my fall stuff out. I didn't find one at Hobby Lobby. Shout out Grace for that suggestion though. They had a lot of really good things, but I didn't find what I wanted. Um, I did find these towels though. They're so cute. I love the brown. I think they're going to go so good in my kitchen. They're literally $3 each. Amazing. Let's go to Home Goods in the city. I've been to the one in Cherry Hill. They don't have anything. So let's see what the one in the city has and hopefully we'll be able to find something. Ali and I are gonna go to a place called Hilltop Tavern, which is just a little tavern in our neighborhood. We're gonna get ready. I'm wearing something cute, but cozy and like comfortable. So I'm gonna do like a light makeup. I wanna do like maybe some eyeliner and mascara. Let's see. All I know is that I actually wanna do base makeup tonight. So we're doing that. This product guys, very good. It smells like tequila. I'm just not sure how that occurred. Oh my God. I thought I didn't wear primer. Okay. I always forget to wear primer. My outfit is also all white for tonight, which if you guys know me, you know that's a disaster waiting to happen. So I'm hoping that that doesn't occur, but I feel like there's only a couple more weekends of summer and I really wanna wear my linen pants. 
because I only ever wear them to the beach. I'm doing my makeup in the weirdest order right now. Sometimes guys, when you do your makeup like this, it's like the best it comes out. So hopefully that will happen. I haven't worn makeup in so long. The Makeup by Mario Concealer really did that. This is the Milk Bronzer. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I kind of feel like it's not dark enough for me now, which should not be the case. I haven't used the Rare Beauty Blush in forever. I feel like it's the move today. We're going in with the brow lift. I also think I'm just gonna wear my hair down, which is so bizarre for me. But it's kind of vibing with the beachy outfit that I'm on. I'm just gonna put in like a little bit of hair oil. Okay, we're not going in with eyeliner because I always hate my makeup when I wear eyeliner. I'm actually kind of liking how this looks right now. Leave it to me to literally do my makeup differently than I always do. Slap everything on, not even care about it. And it look better than when I try. Like, please. The only thing that I'm a little concerned about is that Ali said that she was gonna wear a white dress. So I'm a little concerned that if she does that, we will look like a bridal party. So we'll see what, I tried calling her, so we'll see what she says. I feel like the hair should be done after the outfit's on. BRB. Okay, I just put the 10 in 1 serum and it really tamed like the frizz and everything. And then this is the Dove Dry Shampoo. We're gonna try this. Oh yeah, that gave it a little bit of life. I think that's it. We just got to Allie's. I am wearing these like white linen pants. And this bodysuit is from Abercrombie. My hair's up right now because I literally is sweating walking here, but grabbing some wine, pre-gaming. We're going to a little tavern to get some dinner. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. We're just having a little coffee. Homemade coffee for the Wednesday, it's so good. Just ignore the Deep Eddie's cup. We also have egg bites in the air fryer. I always get the Costco ones. I always get these Kirkland's egg bites and they're so good. They taste just like the Starbucks ones because they used to have the Starbucks ones specifically, but I'm pretty sure they got rid of them. So I now do the Costco ones and they're delicious. Yeah, we're just having a chill morning. I think I'm gonna go visit my parents this morning. Kirsten's still not home yet. So I feel like she'll be home sometime this afternoon. We're gonna do a fun make your own pasta night tonight. We're gonna make cacio e pepe delicious but what we really are going to do is go pick up some things from target today so i have two different targets that i have orders at i'm trying to track down a couple things in the fall collection which is so crazy but um i just like love them the fall collection like slapped so there's two more items that i wanted to get and then like the things that i wanted are complete so i'm gonna like look at both the locations today when i go and just see if they're in there it said i couldn't pick them up but i just have a feeling that they're there because they stay in stock so i'm gonna go ahead and search like crazy in there and yeah that's kind of what we're up to we're gonna go to the Voorhees Target then Turnersville say hi to my mom dad brother sister and call it a day sister-in-law but you know sister good morning Savvy good morning what do you want to say to everyone oh okay there you go. She literally is so cute. And I was looking at a TikTok came up on my feed today about like animals, specifically cats, when they think you're their mom and seven thinks I'm her mom, which is so cute. Stop number one. We're looking for the two items and then picking up an order. We were in the section. This one's kind of cute. I feel like this matches the other one too. Okay, we're gonna hold on to this. This is the one item. I'm obsessed. I might get this too for the wall. The only other thing I'd be looking for is the lamp. Oh, this is the other one I was looking at. Oh my gosh, hold on, let me find. This is crazy. I love this one actually, now that I'm looking at it. I'm gonna get this one instead. I'm obsessed with that house. I think it's so cute. This one's cute, but the other one's a landscape already. So I'm like, mm, let's see. Hey guys, okay. welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Kirsten has entered the chat. We're, we're basically in glasses. Oh no, and like a matching set. Kirsten has entered the chat. We are making a very fun roomy dinner tonight and dessert. We're starting with the dessert actually. We're making lemon bars and then we're gonna be making some homemade cacio e pepe. We have our little handy dandy iPad here. Let's get started. Using a hand mixer or a sand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. I think I washed that over there. Beat together the unsalted butter, all purpose flour and powdered sugar until the shortbread bottom layer forms. It will resemble, this is sun poisoning. It literally looks like a cat scratch. No, it literally bo boiled on boiled. Friday. Kirsten is in charge of this, cause I will make it spill everywhere. 
But all it is is a stick of butter, a cup of flour, and a quarter cup of powdered sugar. Yeah. And it's gonna make the shortbread crust. Lock it, most important part. And then just beat it together. Beat it okay. until it has oh, yeah. loose yellow crumbs. Loose yellow crumbs. Light yellow loose crumbs. I mean, it kind of is. Those are light yellow. Right? I just feel like it's, is it's, it dry? Yeah, it's just powder. <laughs> beat it! Hell yeah! Just beat it! There we go. Yeah. We have saved the day, everyone. Keeps and beat it, and now. <laughs> So this is the consistency. It started out really powdery. You gotta go high. Maybe we've just never beat it hard enough before. <laughs> um, if you think you're beating hard enough, you are. You're, you're not. You're not. <laughs> Lesson learned. But it should look like like a dough. Yeah, that is giving short bread for this sure. These are gonna be really easy to make too. They're just gonna take a little bit of time to chill. And just like pack it in. Uh, yeah, it says you can get this chilling set, but I mean, if we wanna chill it for like five minutes, maybe. Let's do it. Yeah. Just so it has some structure. Chill for five minutes. Okay. If you're not using a glass pan like we are though, you need to chill it for 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be unless back in a, five. Unless a man tells you to chill and don't chill. Then breathe help. Five, yeah. Okay, now it's time to make the lemon curd filling. We just took it out of the oven and it's drying, cooling, cooling. Um, drying. First thing we have to do is grate a lemon with a fine grater, adding the zest to a small bowl. Cut each lemon in half with a lemon juicer. Squeeze out the lemon juice from each lemon. We got lemon, we got, got a be. grater. So half a cup of lemon juice, one tablespoon of zest, and it's half a cup of flour. It does need to sift it. So should we sift it first with this thing? Twenty-five minutes on the clock. We got like girl dinner before dinner, and we got Kirsten making girl coffee. <laughs> she didn't have enough ground beans, so she's grinding these. But we think because it's cold brew, it'll still work. Okay, we went on a little shopping spree. I have a hair mask in, so now I changed my little look for cozy clothes, and we're gonna start making the pasta. Alexa, volume three. And we have some pinot. We're having some baguette and oil, which I just showed you, obviously. All right, so for two eggs, one, two, for two of us, cup and a half. Make a little, you make a little like volcano crater for the egg. How to crack an egg. <laughs> I don't even know like how to explain it. You just get it on the edge. I feel like you just gotta have a good and then angle. So add some more flour. Yeah. And then we're gonna get our hands in there soon too. And I wash my hands before this. Kirsten got yellow nails in honor of our pasta bean. <laughs> Our sous chefs are watching us very closely. I feel like that's looking good. The fact that my child loves Pecorino Romano this much is so funny. Como bella chilla luna, be estrette. Okay, this just thing, guys. We do not have a rolling pin. So we got a bottle of gin and this little thing. And it is what it is. I highly recommend a rolling pin. Highly recommend a rolling pin. At or the very least. We have a kitchen aid, but not the attachment. This is our arm working of the night. Who needs to go to the gym when you just roll pasta? We could also um do it in strips. That looks pretty good. It's coming along so good, guys. Only took us an hour and a half. But it's okay, it's slaying. I better burn 300 calories doing that. No, like our arms will be sore tomorrow, but guess what? Free arm workout. Okay. Here's the pasta. We're just drinking some wine watching Emily in Paris. We slayed. Here's our little lemon bars. Delish. I just washed my hair mask out. Now I'm doing like some lazy girl skincare. This is aqua four stick. I never don't feel like doing gonna go I just do this at night and just make sure I get it all over and I will literally just take it all down my cheeks in whatever the lips and we are good
amazing. We're gonna get ready for bed. Thanks so much for hanging out with me guys this week. I'm gonna stop the vlog here because I have a couple interviews tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.